In a conventional internal combustion engine, the principle of operation is basically simple. There's an induction stroke, that is when the piston moves down, and it induces the charge into the cylinder. The valves will close, and the piston will then move up and compress the mixture, which is then ignited. There's then a controlled burn, and the piston is forced down in the cylinder and produces the power stroke. It reverses its direction, the exhaust valve opens, and the piston returns to the top of the cylinder, scavenging it, removing the exhaust. You will notice that I said, then this happens, then that happens, and the piston is moving up, and the piston is moving down, and the cylinder valves are open, and then they're closed. This is a sequential operation. If you have one cylinder, that's happening one at a time, but developed aircraft engines have many cylinders. And so this combustion process was taking place intermittently, and parts of the engine, such as pistons, corn rods, were constantly reversing direction. That caused vibration. And of course, the engine was only actually working on the power stroke for one quarter of the time the piston was moving. The jet engine rectified many of those deficiencies in that the whole process of induction, compression, ignition, and exhaust became a simultaneous, continuous operation. Let's just have a look at how the jet engine works in that respect. The induction phase, which we mentioned in the piston engine, is carried out in the jet engine by the compressor and the diffuser. They actually induce and compress the air, ready for combustion. The combustion happens in the combustion chamber, which is aft of the diffuser, and that is a continuous burning process. The flame is always alight. And finally, the hot gas is exhausted through the tailpipe of the engine, and that is the propulsion process. So we've got induction, compression, ignition and exhaust, just the same as a piston engine. But of course, this is continuous. No parts of the engine are reversing direction. And this is one of the beauties of the jet engine, that since no parts are changing direction, the whole shaft is just spinning. It is a virtually vibration-free machine.